Russian media wrote reports about the possibility that the Vietnam Air Force's legendary MiG-21 fighter jets that once fought U.S. aircraft would return to space, but in the form of an unmanned aircraft UAV. Currently, research has been conducted on how aircraft can take off and operate like drones. Turning this old interceptor jet into a UAV could be of great use to the Vietnamese Air Force. Older warplanes converted to drones, for example, could become target drones for the S-300's air defense system during drills, or they could be used as something else, such as a suicide missile aircraft for long-range ground attacks. Apart from being able to function as a target drone, one option that has been adopted by many countries is to turn it into an unmanned ground attack missile aircraft, because the combat aircraft's complete aerodynamic structure makes this drone qualified to carry out ground attack missions. If deployed on a large scale, these converted UAVs, while unlikely to fly as low as a real cruise missile, could become a nightmare for enemy air defense systems. The MiG MiG-21 is a supersonic fighter jet and interceptor aircraft, designed by the Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau in the USSR. His nicknames include, Balalaika, because of its shape resembling a stringed instrument of the same name, Olawik, Polish for, pencil, because of the shape of the fuselage, and end back, meaning, silver swallow, in Vietnamese. About 60 countries on four continents have flown the MiG-21, and it is still serving many countries six decades after its maiden flight. It set aviation records, becoming the most produced supersonic jet aircraft in aviation history, the most produced fighter aircraft since the Korean War and previously the longest-running production fighter, now surpassed by the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. As can be seen from its range figures, the MiG-21 is designed for very short ground interception GCI, missions. It became famous for this type of mission in the skies of North Vietnam. The first MiG-21s arrived directly from the USSR by ship in April 1966. After being disassembled and assembled they were given to the oldest combat unit of the Vietnam People's Air Force, VPAF, the 921 Combat Regiment, 921 FR, which was built on 3 February 1964 as a MiG unit. Minus 17. As the VPAF 923 FR was newer and less experienced, they would continue to operate MiG-17s, while the arrival of the MiG-19 J6 version from China in 1969 would make North Vietnam's only MiG-19 unit, the FR-925. At the 3rd of February 1972, North Vietnam commissioned their fourth and final combat regiment created during the war with South Vietnam, the MiG-21 PFM Type 94, equipped with the 927 Combat Regiment. Although the 13 North Vietnamese flying aces gained their status while flying the MiG-21, compare 3 in the MiG-17, many VPAF pilots preferred the MiG-17 because the high wing load of the MiG-21 made it relatively less maneuverable. And the MiG-17's lighter framed canopy provides better visibility. However, this was not the impression British writer Roger Boniface felt when he interviewed Pham Nok Lan and ace Nguyen Nhat Chu, who scored victories flying the MiG-17 and MiG-21. Pham Nok Lan told Boniface that the MiG-21 was much faster, and had two Atoll missiles which were very accurate and reliable when fired between 1,000 and 1,200 yards. Although the MiG-21 lacks the long-range radar, missiles, and heavy bomb payloads of its US multi-mission fighter, with the Sapfer RP-21 radar, it proves to be a challenging foe in the hands of experienced pilots, especially when used in high-speed hit-and-run attacks. Height under GCI control. MiG-21 interceptors of the Republican attack group F-105 Thunderchief were effective in bringing down U.S. aircraft or forcing them to dump their bomb payloads. 